I'm Natalie Ahrens. Um, I'm the chairperson for the Tour and Safari Association, commonly known as TASA in Namibia. And um, yeah, I've been involved on the executive of TASA for many, 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 many years um, and have um, in August last year have taken over the chairmanship at TASA. Um, from our side, together with the other associations and also under FINATA umbrella, um, we worked a great deal with government to see how best to handle the crisis for the tourism industry, what one could do to uh, get tourism going again. Um, we've worked with the tourism um, task force um, to, to work to find ways to stimulate tourism. Um, and we obviously, from Taza's side, looked at um, things on how best we can facilitate local tourism as well. So this is quite difficult for, for tour operators because the local industry usually books their own accommodation and things. So it's, it's very limited for the tour operating um, associate or tour operators in Namibia, but um, we helped and we did what we could. Um, but most of our work was really related with um, working with government and working with other tourism associations um, to, to see how best we can get the um, tourism establishments through, through this crisis. So amongst other things, we, for example, waived our membership fees for last year. Um, and for those that had already paid, um, we refunded. Some of them opted to keep it, but um, with us for, for this year. Um, and yeah, you know, um, it's, it's, been, it's been very tough for all the tourism establishments. For the tourism industry for Namibia has, for the longest period, been uh, um, responsible or not uh, reliant, that's the word, sorry, reliant on international travel. Those are the ones that really bring the foreign currency the, and the bigger amounts. Um, you know, local um, people, most of them cannot afford um, international lodges, or not international lodges, but the lodges that, um, that are out there. Um, so I, I always, I firmly believe that international travel will still be a huge part of tourism going forward. However, um, we will all need to see where we can make things work with local tourists for now or regional tourists for now. Um, even if the income is lower, we will still need to uh, work that way, find ways, find solutions, um, and at least we can make it through this, this uh, disaster period. I do think that um, tourism and, and, and people in tourism are very... Um, what can you, how do you call it? We are hard in taking, we, you know, we are resistant, we will make it through this. It's, it's like the desert elephant, they're also very resistant species. And I always feel that um, Namibians will make it, we will make it, and tourism in Namibia will make it, whichever way we have to do it.